Hi everyone, welcome back to the Declarative Academy, your go-to channel for mastering Salesforce with ease. If you're new here, don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a new tutorial. In today's session, we're diving into Identify Campaign Members, a key module that helps you understand who can be added to campaigns, how to add them, and how to track their engagement. Whether you're in marketing, sales, or nonprofit work, mastering campaign members will level up your targeting efforts. All right, let's get started. By the end of this module, you'll be able to describe who can be added to campaigns, explain different ways to add members to campaigns, understand how to use campaign member statuses to track responses. Sound good? Let's break it down. All right, so who exactly can you add to your Salesforce campaigns? You can add leads, contacts, and person accounts as campaign members. That's it, no Salesforce users, no portal users, just leads, contacts, and person accounts. Think of it this way, if they're potential customers or existing contacts in your database, they can be part of your campaign. Now that we know who can be added, let's look at how to add them. Adding members to a campaign can be done in several ways, depending on your needs. Let's go through them. One, individually. You can add a single lead, contact, or person account directly from their record page. Two, manage campaign members. From the campaign members related list, select manage campaign members to add multiple people at once. Three, list views and reports. If you're working with a list of leads or contacts, you can add them directly from a list view or report. Four, accounts and related lists. You can also add contacts from an account by clicking add contacts within the campaign members related list. Five, data import wizard. For bulk imports, use the data import wizard to bring in large lists of leads, contacts, or person accounts. These methods give you flexibility based on your workflow. Use what fits best. Once members are in your campaign, you'll want to track their engagement. That's where campaign member statuses come in. Each campaign type should have a predefined set of statuses. Let's look at a few examples. Email campaigns. Common statuses include sent, responded, purchased, and did not purchase. Product demos. You might track statuses like invited, accepted, declined, and attended. Best practice. Use consistent statuses across similar campaigns. This keeps reporting clean and comparable. When setting up a campaign, define these statuses in advance and mark key statuses as responded for easy tracking. To add a status, navigate to the campaign member statuses related list where you can manage all your statuses. Click on the new button and enter a descriptive name for the status you wish to create. If you want this status to be recognized as a meaningful engagement, don't forget to check the responded box. Finally, hit save and watch as your campaign starts to take shape. This makes tracking results so much easier when you generate reports later. Quiz time. Let's test your knowledge with a quick quiz. Comment below with your answers. Question one, who can be added to campaigns? A, Salesforce users. B person accounts only, C, leads, contacts, and person accounts, D, portal users. The correct answer is C, leads, contacts, and person accounts can be added, but Salesforce users and portal users cannot. Question two, what is the best practice for defining campaign member statuses? A, use only the statuses you know you will need. B, always add campaign member statuses before starting the campaign. C. Use the same set of values for all campaigns of the same type. D. Never add statuses to parent campaigns. The correct answer is C. Best practice is to keep statuses consistent across similar campaigns for better reporting. Question 3. How many campaign member statuses can count as a response? A. As many as you need. B. 1. C. 2. D. 5. The correct answer is A. There's no limit to the number of statuses you can mark as responded. 
define as many as needed for your tracking needs. Let's recap what we learned today. While you verify your quiz, leads, contacts, and person accounts can be added to campaigns. You can add members individually in bulk or via import. Campaign member statuses help you track engagement and response rates. Keeping statuses consistent makes reporting much easier. And that's a wrap on identifying campaign members. If this video helped you out, give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more Salesforce tips. Let me know in the comments which campaign features you'd like to see next. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.